All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching episode 24 and episode 25 of Fate Apocrypha. I'm looking forward to seeing this, this how this series is going to end, but I'm also quite sad. Obviously, I've been going week by week now for like how many weeks? I don't know, 12 weeks, I suppose, going by the math, uh, maybe more. Yeah, uh, that, it's been a fun ride, and honestly, uh, it's not like, you know, it's not on the same level as other Fate series, of course. I mean, it's like Ufotables and um, Cloverworks is, you know, Grand Order is just, it's completely different. But this in itself is its own thing. And I really do appreciate this work. Um, I can't believe it's taken me so long to watch it, considering it's been out for like five years, I think. Four years, maybe. But I'm glad I did. And I'm finally, I'm glad I finally gave it the chance. And um, yeah, just really looking forward to it. So I will have uh, chapters on screen showing when episode 24 starts and ends and when episode 25 starts and ends. Um, so look out for that if you'd like to skip to specific parts. But yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Who's he speaking to right now? Is it himself? Hmm. It's insane being able to forgive everyone. I mean, honestly, respectable considering he has no bias towards anyone. What does the materialization of the soul of their souls actually mean? Like material materialization of their souls means their souls become physical, or does it mean that he wants them to people you want people to know that souls you know are a thing and be able to look at someone's soul and decide what they are like or i don't know it's confusing um hopefully he uh, it will be explained in these last two episodes oh wow he's outside the uh the dream <laughs> the buffoonery is over Shakespeare is phantasm kind of nasty. I mean, it's it's not insane power, but it works. Hey, yo, my man looks saucy. How have you had your wish granted before the war is even over? What? Wait, what? What? Are, wait, everybody's going to be spirits? Interesting. This is not what I had in mind in regards to materialization, materialization of souls. So he's technically killing every person on Earth, but technically not. Yeah? Is that so? Crazy ass caster man. Oh my god, that man's face. I'm gonna have nightmares. What? And what's her reaction to this? What makes her snap out of it? Free will? The right to decide? Yeah, the thing you, you told them exactly not to do. Yeah, wrote them into it. It was ine ine inevitable, it was destiny. He was going to be here anyway. Innate goodness in mankind. No such thing? I don't think so. Spitting, bro. Spitting. Spitting from someone who isn't even a human. Yeah, that's kind of true. You had your chance at life. True. Doesn't give them a choice. Doesn't give them a chance at all. Well, maybe you shouldn't have committed them, you fucking child murderer. Dude is nuts. Yeah. Factual. Mmm. That's a good point. Pain is a part of life, though. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think you haven't thought this whole plan through, bro. This sounds like a children, a child, like a child's dream. Bruh. What? I don't understand why... The Greater Grail has allowed his wish to come true when the war isn't over yet. 
Ooh, shit, she's bringing out the sword. Okay. Yeah, and you saved him. Oh, so cute. What in the entire goddamn actual things from Heaven's Feel? Oh, damn, look at this sword. Damn. What is it? Is that a famous sword? Which one is it? Damn. Respect to this guy in this series. Wow. Bro got manga screened. Okay, I'm I'm hyped. A second noble phantasm. Oh, she is so pure. So sweet, man. Oh, ho, ho, yo. She looks sick. La Pucel. Bro, attendance are a rose? What is this? What is this? She doesn't actually hold it by the actual handle of the sword. What? What? Bro chopped his own arm off? What the hell? What in the goddamn sci fi is happening here? I thought that explosion was going to be a lot bigger. Is it good? Yeah, it looks fine. Jan, you better get your ass up. Jan can't die here, surely, come on. And that means the human whose body she is... What? Okay, is the human still alive? Yeah, it seems so. See, I don't know if you're going to be able to fight these servants. Oh, Astolfo's still here, let's go. God damn it, chained up again. This bitch is still alive? Are you joking? This is not fair, bro. He's got too many command spells. Okay. Sieg has to snap here. Like, because the chances, the odds are very against him right now. <laughs> Sieg. That's just my name. That's it. Four letters. Oh, yeah. He just lost an arm. He basically just nerfed himself. Again. Okay, Sieg. That, I ain't gonna lie, I'm surprised right now. Oh, shit. Okay, I was disrespecting Sieg about two minutes ago. My bad. Wait, Frankenstein? <gasps> Wait, what? No, what? That's insane. Wow. I almost forgot about the Berserker. Oh my god, this animation. <laughs> the sounds, man. Holy shit. Sieg is going nuts. That is so cool, man. Sieg is like going part Berserker right now. Oh, who got stabbed? Oh, shit. Oh, Sieg. What? Oh, it's Frankenstein's phantasm. Bro, I need somebody to explain what specifically happened with Frankenstein here. This is nuts. Wow. That episode was like three seconds. What? Alright, so that was episode 24. I'm not going to say too much in the review for this because I just want to go into episode 25. But that episode was nuts. Um, somewhat, a little bit, just a little bit disappointed that Jan died so quickly into this. But we got to see her second phantasm. Got to see her in a new costume. Um, I really like kind of everything she was saying there and see bringing her back to her senses. Really kind of showing that 
Shiro's plan isn't actually as good as it sounded. It, to me, it does it can sound, does sound like a children's dream. Um, and yeah, dope ass fight in the second half of the episode. Holy shit! Not expecting that with uh, with kind of the combination of Frankenstein in there, but fuck it, he got zapped. Frankenstein went inside of him or something like that. I don't know. Very cool. Episode 25. Very much looking forward to it. And let's go right into that right now. Oh shit, this thing is falling apart. What is happening? I mean, it, it should have fell apart the moment she was supposed to be dead. So yeah, I should have seen this coming. Beta Apocrypha. Hey, yo, what? Are they dead? What happened? Oh. Take this as an honor. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'd take it as an honor. I mean, it's for the story, but I'm very surprised Mordred didn't just chop her in two. You can see the wound, though. Jesus Christ. Damn. I don't think he would have. Maybe? Nah. Oh, they're kind of sweet. Oh! Shit. A poisonous assassin's kiss. Oh. Damn, these two are actually hella sweet. So this this castle is just gonna crash to the ground now. Ooh, Jesus. What happened to the other guys? Where the hell is Sieg? Is he within the grail? What? <laughs> um, yeah, probably. Is this... Yeah, okay, so they won. They're not dead, they won. Justice. Justice? Justice? Hmm. Is he going to wish for anything? What's his wish going to be? What, really? Why did you grant his wish? He didn't win the war yet. I don't get it. Then how can you resolve this? Existence is chained to these lands. So the grail has to be sent somewhere else? Is bro turning into a dragon? That's not really worth a wish, though. As, as he fought of a loophole? Come on, what is he saying? What is he saying? I want to know what he's fought of. Oh god, what has he done? Yeah. What is the wish? <laughs> oh, I'm glad Astolfo stayed alive till the end. Wait, doesn't Ryder get a wish too? Um, what has he done? What is the wish? Oh, welcome to fate. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh my god, Shakespeare's still here. <laughs> when are you gonna goddamn disappear? What is that? Hey? Oh god, he took that sh head on. Oh shit, they're out. Is that thing gonna fall apart or what? What are we looking at here? 
What is it? What the f- Se Seek? Where are you taking that? Wait. So what is he doing with the grail? It has to- Where is he taking it? <laughs> the last- The last piece of work of William Shakespeare. Wow. <laughs> oh, this guy. What, what's he going to do with the grail? Yeet it into space? The what? I'm confused as hell. Oh, we're in London. <laughs> this man's still alive. Respect. You want know him and his sister are still alive. I said basically at the very start of this that they were, one of them was going to die, so respect. Problematic children. Damn, so he's just going to school? <laughs> this guy is this kid, man. The future is grim. <laughs> Yeah, for real. <laughs> Crazy asses. Oh, Ryder. Astolfo, how are you still alive? Was this Astolfo's wish to become mortal? An onlooker. Well, at least you're alive. True. You allowed Jan to take over you. That's so cool. I still don't get the thing with with Sieg and where he's taking the grail. Oh, it was all Jan. Yeah. What you doing out here, Astolfo? So does Astolfo still get to exist and have magic? That's kind of sick. Oh, let's go. Damn, dude. I need a lot of questions answering, so please, guys, do so. <laughs> oh? Oh, is this Jan? Oh, shit. Uh, this is what we saw in the first episode, wasn't it? Damn. Came full circle. That's awesome. That's sweet. Oh, and they get to be together. Where are they right now then? In a different realm or what? Oh. Yes. I am really happy with that ending. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to be expecting, but that is an acceptable ending for me, honestly. Um, happy. Everything is kind of solved. Uh, Shira's plan didn't go through as far as I'm aware because Sieg, as a dragon, took the grail somewhere else to a different realm or a different world or something. I didn't fully understand that. Um... But yeah, Jan and C get to be together. Astolfo's still alive. That's pretty cool. He just gets to live now. Um, I guess that was his wish. But again, please explain that to me if um, if I'm wrong. Um, Goddamn girl. I've forgotten her name. Who Jan possessed alive and well. Gets to go back to her everyday life. That's great. Um, And yeah, everything is resolved. Overall, I really enjoyed the series. I'd probably say... I'd probably give it like an 8, 8.5 out of 10, I would say, um, for, over, for overall enjoyment. Um, very different, in my opinion, for kind of the usual Fate series and the whole team-based scenario. Um, just kind of what the whole kind of premise was about. Of course, it was still a Holy Grail war, but it was different for the Greater Grail. 
really enjoyable ca- enjoyable characters. It felt like I got to know a lot of the characters, which was cool. Um, and yeah, just I'm I'm just very much glad that I finally got around to watching it. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching along with me weekly, and obviously with the feedback, comments, and all the help you've given me as well when I have so many questions, like I do in this episode. Uh, episodes. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, once again, please subscribe for hopefully more future Fate content. Um, and uh, like the video as well. If you like the video, go check out my previous reactions to the series if you haven't already. And go check out my other reactions on my channel to other series if you're interested. Um, have an extra day and peace out.